This is a case study or a project in the field of travel and tourism. This is called the Airbnb first travel destination prediction problem. So some of you may not be aware of what Airbnb is. So let me just quickly give you a quick uh, two minute probably overview of what Airbnb is all about. For that, let's actually go to Airbnb's website. So Airbnb is basically, I mean, they put it very clearly here. You can book homes and experiences in any city of your choice. And this is done and this is basically if you have a home with extra space, you can actually rent that space on nightly basis to tourists and travelers. And Airbnb is disrupting the hotel business like, like crazy. It's one of the most valued startups in the world today. And it's doing terrific work. So what's, what Airbnb did very interestingly is, so on Airbnb website, uh, by the way, I, I am on in, I am in incognito mode. So Airbnb cannot use any specific data of my previous interaction with Airbnb. Right? So as soon as I go to this data, one thing you'll notice is it's going to airbnb.co.in. Right? So what, what all information does Airbnb have as soon as I go to their website? Let's see. Okay, it knows my IP address, which means it can tell the city that I'm I'm accessing this, uh, I'm accessing this website from. It knows my browser, right? It knows that I'm using uh, 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 I'm using Chrome browser. It also knows my device. It knows that I'm accessing this from a uh, from a MacBook Pro, and uh, it has uh, using using third party websites it can also guess what my gender probably is right and it, it has other miscellaneous data about me except that it has very little data for example if i sign up for for airbnb right now uh, it also knows uh, how did i sign up did i sign up using my google credentials or my facebook credentials or using my email ha having just having that just by leveraging that information if you look at it it's it's suggesting a bunch of experiences for me right uh, at the same time what the problem that we are solving is exactly here it's called feature destinations so based on very little information about me it's 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 suggesting a bunch of locations like paris london seoul miami los angeles and san francisco right so how does this do of course what what's behind this is a, is is a fairly interesting data science or a machine learning application where by just having by just leveraging very little data about me by just having very few data points about me, it can predict reasonably well, if not at the city level, at least which country I would like to visit. So this will be France, uh, this will be UK, this will be South Korea, um, all these three will be US, right? Of course, how does it do this? It, it knows information from hundreds of thousands of customers who are similar to me, who have visited airbnb.co.in from a Mac, uh, using the Chrome browser with so-and-so version from the city that I'm that I'm currently in. It knows that people who've gone there, people who are coming, who have these variables or these features would typically visit countries or cities like this. That's what it's leveraging. And that's exactly our problem today. So our problem in the in this in this case study is that we want to predict, we want to predict the country or the countries that a given user is interested in would, would actually uh, would travel as their first destination after they sign up with Airbnb. Right? As soon as they sign up with Airbnb, what are the first set of destinations that a user would most likely uh, want to travel? Right? This is a very interesting problem. And we have about uh, 664 MB of data. More importantly, more important than the size is the number of data points. We have about 213,000 data points or uh, in, in the Indian system, it's 2,13,000 uh, uh, customer logins with all these features that I just told you about. And we have to predict what country would they visit. And by the way, all this is the data for, of uh, US, uh, US customers visiting Airbnb website. This, is, th this has huge implications, right? Because a system built like this has a lot of applications in the travel and tourism space, right? Suppose, suppose if you are... Uh, 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 suppose if you are, let's say, some of, some of these companies like Make My Trip, which is a very popular um, travel travel booking website in India, or if you if you are using TripAdvisors, right? TripAdvisor. So all these websites have to build a very simple system like this, right? Where as soon as somebody logs in, you want to recommend the destinations that the customer would most likely want to travel, at least at least at a country level, if not at a city level. Right, and this this is a very interesting data set. This is AI being applied uh, being applied in in the domains of travel and tourism, especially especially for online websites like Airbnb, which collect amount enormous amounts of data for uh, f uh, on who the customer is, right? And of course, AI is also being applied in areas of uh, areas of traditional hotel business 
where large hotel chains are actually leveraging all the information about about a customer to serve the customer needs better so this is this is a fabulous application of ai in the area of travel and tourism and we will see how to how to take a first shot at this problem using very interesting ai and data science techniques